thanks for staying with us. Happy World Standards Day. Yes. Now, World Standards Day is celebrated annually on October 14 in recognition of the collaborative efforts to ex of experts globally who develop voluntary standards that impact economies, industries, mm -hmm. and daily life. Well, here to share with us the importance of World Standards Day and why it should be celebrated in Jamaica is the acting director of Standards Division at the Bureau of Standards Jamaica, Tafara Smith. Hi, Tafara. Good, Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Happy I'm Standards well. Day. Oh, thank I you. I was saying to Dennis earlier that it's so serendipitous that you are here this morning <laughs> because I passed the Bureau of Standards yes. over the weekend and I saw the banner mm -hmm. and I said, yeah, man, World Standards, yeah, so girl for our standards today. <laughs> oh, yes. Our World Standards yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when I saw that you were here yes. this morning, I said, God, I see you. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Standard Amen. still a keep and standard mm. is a must. Yes. Uh, but a lot of people don't, are not aware of the work done by the Bureau of Standards. Right. How important is the Bureau of Standards to our daily life, the ordinary Jamaican? Okay, so the Bureau of Standards Jamaica is a statutory body under the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, and one of our job is to develop standards and to implement and to facilitate the implementation of standard in industry. Like you said, these standards affect our daily life by ensuring quality mm -hmm. and safety of the products and services which we consume on a daily basis. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I like that because I remember I remember there was a couple of years ago, there was a, an announcement that all sugar packages, the old time the way yes. we used to package sugar, yes. all sugar packages need to have, you need, they need to be packaged differently mm -hmm. yes. um, in, you know, some of it. And people were huffing and puffing and how it, 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 it coming like it was going to be the end of sugar, yes. the mm -hmm. sugar industry. People have fallen in line. You go to a supermarket, yes. you know what is in the sugar. It is there. It is clear. Yes. And I, I'm saying if you implement standards, yes. people will fall mm -hmm. in line and things will improve. How, how important has it been for the Bureau of Standards to, to you know, go in and, and dictate in this kind of a way? Well, the truth is that when we're developing standards, mm -hmm. what we do is to advertise to the general public, yeah. to let the, uh, the info, put the information out there mm -hmm. in the different mediums, through newspapers, on our website, mm -hmm. through the different social media spaces, to let you know that we're developing these standards. And in developing these standards, we're inviting you to have your say in the way, in the information, the specification that goes into these standards. Right. Because of course, these standards facilitate business development and trade. Mm -hmm. And so it is important to hear from <laughs> those stakeholders which the standard will impact impact are those stakeholders that will be impacted by the standard and can impact the standard mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so we make sure to put that information out there, invite the experts in to be a part of the discussion. Mm -hmm. Also, what we do is uh, in the development of standards, we try to advertise to let them give them another chance to, to comment on the document. Mm -hmm. So before we go to the publication phase, we send out a draft of this document and welcome you to give your comments before they are published. Also, we have public awareness sessions yes. where we tell you a little bit more about what is in included inside this standard. What, is, what, is, what are the, the mean of this specification? What does it mean for you and your business? Mm -hmm. And what does it mean for you as a consumer? So for example, when you see the, that uh, standard, um, S ISO something mm -hmm. something. Yeah, ISO 9001, yeah. So. What, is, what, is, what is that indicative of? Okay, so ISO is the International Organization for Standardization, and it's just another standard setting body, but it's the another international standard setting body mm -hmm. that is recognized globally, yes. right? So it's 9001 is really the name of the standard. However, 9001 represents the quality management system standards, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And so what this does is to help businesses to increase efficiency by implementing <coughs> standard operating procedures so that this ensures uh, consistency of the service yes. that they mm -hmm. provide, quality of the service they provide, as well as to ensure that consumers are, you know, take into consideration your, the feedback from your consumers yes. to improve your business, also giving like a competitive the JCF edge. the ISO 9001 certification oh. in, uh, of, of several quality management processes. It's right. important. It allows also the customer to have a certain expectation. Petition. And that was what, what I was about can, to yeah. ask, right. Tafara. That's what I was about to ask. Mm -hmm. Because normally you go to, to certain businesses and you see certain certificates, right? Yes. Uh, when I go and see a Bureau of Standards certificate, do you give those certificates to say that you've been passed, you've met the standard, right. the Bureau of Standards mm. has given you the nod. Right. So when you see a company that is that advertised that we're ISO 9001 certified, mm -hmm. yes, this, these companies are usually certified through the national uh, 
certification body of Jamaica, which is another arm of the Bureau of Standards. Mm -hmm. And basically what we do is go into these companies and to audit them mm -hmm. yes. uh, to see how, how well are they conforming to the standard requirements. Because even though the standards are voluntary, to meet to, for you, your business to export, for you to facilitate <coughs> an um, international trade, safeguarding safety, then you want to implement the standard. The certification body of Jamaica does that. They audit you mm -hmm. when you conform to the requirements, then they give you that stamp of approval that mm -hmm. says, okay, you're certified to this quality management system standard, ISO 9001. It increased con consumer confidence in your yeah. products now. Absolutely. And now your, mar your, your products are now market ready. It can meet market access requirements. So you're not only competing locally in but the domestic market, yeah. but competing internationally. Your products are now meeting up to those other international products. So yes. tell us about your week of activities that you have lined up right. and how can we be a part of it? Okay, awesome. So the BSJ has several activities um, lined up for this week. We started yesterday with our Make Your Marks um, stand, uh, article in the Jamaica Gleaner, as well as today we'll be dominating the airways with you know telling people how we can use standards to facilitate trade how mm -hmm. can you standards to safeguard <laughs> health and safety and even importantly we are moving towards economic development and sustainable development how we can use international standards local standards to facilitate this process also we'll be having our open house um day on i think it's wednesday mm -hmm. where we have a t tours of our laboratories we also have um a message from our minister, Senator the Honorable Arbin Hill, to share with industry the importance of standards and how this can again uh, open markets, new markets for our manufacturers, how we can safeguard the health and safety of consumers, mm -hmm. right? And as well as we do have our technical committee appreciation day nice. and luncheon where we award the different stakeholders. Like you said, these are experts that volunteer their time and expertise right. to the development and standards. We want to award them, say that we acknowledge you during this week of World Standards Day and to give them our awards and to put <coughs> tokens to, to encourage their participation and to show our appreciation to them as well. Mm -hmm. We also have our Food Safety Ambassador Program that will be launching on Wednesday as well during the, the whole um, open house session. We'll be having as well um, expositories, um, you know, tours of our laboratories, like I said, to just give you, the our consumers and our stakeholders, a view into uh, the operations of the BSJ. Wonderful. Hey, she know the thing, them. Yeah, she, yeah. She, she know, know she our work. Know miss. She know our work, she know and our I love work. that. I love yeah. that. Love she that. Acting, she but standards. She, she acting, but she have the standards. <laughs> to be the director of standards. Yeah. Just like how <laughs> CBM will have the standard. Yes. yes standard over here. <laughs> our guest this morning has been Tafara Smith, acting director of standards at the standards division at the Bureau of Standards Jamaica. MPG would say. Uptownification. <laughs> Lou, Lou, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> yes, darling. Coming up next, we'll talk CVM News, a new look, a new experience. Alert this and more right after the break. It still and always is sunrise. Yeah, we know.